Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create GL cross validation rules in Oracle Fusion using a spreadsheet. I had already uh, covered the concept of the GL cross validation rules, uh, the significance of the GL cross validation rules, and how can we uh, create these GL cross validation rules using a UI. Uh, I will use the same uh, examples, whatever I've covered in my previous video. And uh, in today's video, I will show uh, how to create this cross validation rules using a spreadsheet. If you have not seen my previous video, please do so. Uh, the uh, video URL of that particular uh, video is actually uh, mentioned in the description section of this video. So the business requirement is allow only cost center 000 for uh, balance sheet accounts. So again, I'm using the same example as that of my previous uh, video. So I want uh, the cost center 000 to be used for all the balance sheet account. And if I use any other cost center other than 000 for my balance sheet account, then the system should throw an appropriate error message. So that's my business requirement. Okay, now let's get into the system. So in order to create the cross validation rules using a spreadsheet, go to your uh, global search, which is under setup and maintenance. <clears throat> and then search. And then search for, uh, yeah, create. The name of the task is creates cross validation rules in spreadsheet. So as soon as you click on this particular task, a uh, spreadsheet gets downloaded to your desktop. Double click on that. And I'm still trying to open, yeah. Enable editing. You are able to connect to so-and-so URL, just say yes. And then again, it will ask you to enter your username and password. So let me enter my username and password. Okay, so as soon as you enter the username and password, it tries to connect to the environment. And uh, here you can see uh, in the template, you have a lot of examples here and uh, the, uh, what do you call, <coughs> the description of each and every uh, field. And you can go to your cross validation rules. Okay, so the first step is to select your chart of account structure under which you want to create your cross validation rule. So, so let me select my chart of accounts. So this being a testing environment, there are a lot of chart of accounts which are created by different users. So let me select my chart of account uh, structure instance, uh, which is your Reliance Ledger. So that's the name of my chart of account structure and uh, give any meaningful name. So what I'll do is I'll also open the UI and uh, you'll be able to proper visualize uh, these fields when you look at the those uh, corresponding fields in the ui so let me search for manage cross validation rules that's the uh, task and it's cross validation rules so this is where you and uh, create your cross validation rules if you want to create them using ui again uh, select uh, the chart of accounts so click on search you should not be able to see any uh, cross validation rule because I did not create any cross validation rules. If you click on plus, that's where system will allow you to create the cross validation rule. Okay, so the first thing is name. So leave, give any uh, meaningful name. So I'll just say <coughs> CVR1 uh, cost centers for balance sheet. That's the name. And in the description, which is this section, I want to enter a a proper description of this cross validation rule. This rule allows using of cost center 000 for balance sheet accounts and error message. So, what is the error message which you want to populate if the user do not use the proper cost center? You can just say that you are not allowed to use 
this call center for balance sheet account so it's basically user is trying to use a balance sheet account but try to enter any call center other than 00 so then user will get this pop up message and condition filters and validation filters so you have something called condition filter and validation condition filter is basically <coughs> my requirement is if the user try to use any of the balance sheet accounts then the call center should be always 000 that's my requirement so under condition filter i should select account because my requirement is if the user try to you uh, enter any balance sheet account then the corresponding cost center which should be entered under your validation segment should be so and so so here my requirement is if the user enters any of the balance sheet accounts now let me show you my chart of account structure so this is my chart of account structure and if you go to the national accounts so this is the balance sheet account range my balance sheet account range is 0, 0, 0, 0 to 3999 that is my balance sheet account range all these are balance sheet accounts up to here okay so my requirement is if the account is between this range 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 to 39999 five digits yeah nine let me double check it should be five digits yeah then the cost center should be zero 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 so that's my requirement so let me show you my cost center values yeah cost center is three digit So if you look at the front end uh, in the uh, condition filter, uh, you can directly select is equal to or in between not equal to. There are a lot of values which are, which are available in the drop down. But here, uh, you need to specifically choose those values based on, uh, you can see the instructions here. So if you want to enter uh, not equal to, so if your requirement is to uh, enter say two uh, segment values, then just use those values separated by commas. If you want to enter a range, then use hyphen. And uh, if you want to use not equal to, then use this particular symbol and so on. Okay. So here my requirement is this should be an account range and this should be my corresponding cost center. Okay now i am done with entering of my cross validations now i want to upload that so before i upload maybe let me get rid of the screen okay so let me click on upload button or submit button so it says on failure continue to upload subsequent rules so i'm checking yes so if there are multiple cross validation rules what do you want what do you want uh, this i mean whether you want the system to continue uploading the next rows or whether you want the uh, system to stop at the uh, the failure record so i'm saying yes so that means it will continue to upload the subsequent rows and download all rows after, after successful upload is basically if you check this checkbox it will upload the uh, details to your uh, oracle system and then it will again download the same thing maybe just in case if you want to make any other further changes so i'm not checking this checkbox so let me click on ok so you can see row inserted successfully now let me try to query this cross validation rules from ui again go to the manage cross validation rules go to reliance ledger yeah so here you can see the cross validation rule is automatically created as we have entered the details here this is being uploaded into the system Okay, so this is how you create your uh, cross validation rule using a spreadsheet, and you can enter any number of uh, cross validation rules here. And in a single go, you can create all those rules, or you can upload all those rules into the system. Now, let us test this cross validation rule. Now, let me go to GL responsibility and try to use a cost center other than 000 for a balance sheet account, and let's see whether it is going to throw this error message or not. So go to home and then journals.
and then create journal. Test journal badge. And they say test journal name. And accounting date is already populated and uh, select the journal category. Now go to the lines. Select company. <coughs> Line of business. Now let me select the balance sheet accounts. Maybe let me select any of the cash account. And then let me choose a cost center other than 000. And let's see if I get a pop up error message. So let me use say, this one. And then complete filling of the other segments. Okay, and let me click on OK. okay. As soon as you click on OK, you should be able to see a error message. It should be popping up here. The error message should be the error message, whatever we have entered in the cross validation rules. Ideally, you should be getting uh, this error message. You are not allowed to use this cost center for the balance sheet accounts. Not sure it's taking a while. It's taking. Yeah, you can see. This combination is. We have seen that error message. I clicked on cancel, but uh, the error message popped up there. Let me again try to enter. Okay, company, line of business, account. Cost center, pick up any cost center other than the 000. So let me pick up 210 and then product all zeros and intercompany, maybe just any intercompany. And then click on OK. When you click on OK, you can see that a error message popped up. This combination is invalid. You are not allowed to use this. You are not allowed to use this cost centers for this balance sheet account. Exactly the same error message, whatever we have entered in our cross validation. Okay, so this is how you create your cross validation rules using a spreadsheet. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on Oracle Financials. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.